What's up, guys? Neil Orfield here to talk a little owner's box for the week three NFL main slate. While you're coming in, please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so, and hit that notification button so you can get alerts when our shows go live. Now, I'm going to run our Sims tool for the owner's box slate. And just to give you an idea of what I did when I set up the uh, contest here, I did 35% quarterback plus one stacks, 25% quarterback plus two stacks. 20% quarterback plus three stacks, and then 30% of my lineups have an opposing player, a run back coming into the lineup. So just so you know how I set this up, I've just generated 10,000 lineups already. I did that before the video. Now I'm going to run the Sims tool, see what comes out of it when we sim those lineups, 10,000 lineups against each other. And this will give us an idea of the best plays on the owner's box slate this week. If you haven't already signed up with owner's box, highly recommend you use our link when you do so. If you use our link, you're going to get a free week of the Stochastic NFL Sims package. So the, the Sims tool that you're looking at right now, you're going to get a free week of that tool if you use our link when you sign up. That's a $60 value, or at least that's what we sell it for. I think it's worth a lot more than $60, but fantastic tool. Uh, so use, use our link. You're going to get that. On top of that, you're also going to get two free entries into contests on Owner's Box. You're going to get a $5 lightning lineup entry. Very cool contest. You're given a set of three lineups. You just have to choose which one you think is going to do the best for the weekend. And you can also add lineups. If, if you just do the three, you can double your money. You can also add lineups to add a little bit more equity into your lineups. Uh, so, so you can make more than double your money if you choose to go to four or five lineups. Uh, check it out if you haven't noticed. You get a free lightning lineup entry and then another free $5 entry into a contest on Owner's Box. So you get all of those. And on top of that, you get your first deposit matched up to $500. So if you put $10 in, you'll get your $10 match. If you put $500 in, of course, you'll be matched up to $500. You're not going to get it all at once. It's going to be a drip bonus. As you play, you're going to get that money. But over time, you get a $500 deposit match bonus. Highly recommend uh, putting up to $500. If you, if you can play $500, I'd, I'd recommend playing $500 or putting $500 in to get that bonus. You want to, you know, obviously get the most you can possibly get out of a bonus. So check that out if you haven't already done. So use the link in the description. Simulator tool taking a little bit longer than usual here. I'm going to give it a minute. Now I'm anticipating that we're going to get a lot of Vikings and Chargers clearly going to be the chalkiest game on the slate. All right, so we, we've run the Sims here. So these are the, the lineups that we end up with after running the Sims. We've got some nice lineups here. So the the top projected lineup or the, the lineup that has the highest simulated ROI. We've got Tua in there with Raheem Mostert, Tyreek Hill, Durham Smythe, majorly stacked lineup there for the Dolphins. We also have Dak in there, Dak with CeeDee Lamb in that lineup. So we got highly stacked Dolphins lineup, and then we got the Cowboys in there as well. Another stack going on there. Any other any other correlations that I miss here? I see KJ Osborne in there. I don't think I see anybody from the Chargers. Got Rondell Moore in there. Oh, that, that's a run back for the uh, for the Cowboys. So we got Dak and CD. We got Rondell Moore on the comeback. We got two. Uh, I believe they're playing the Broncos. I don't think we have any Broncos in the in this lineup. So no no bring back on the Dolphin stack. But we've got some nice stacks there. Second lineup we have Patrick Mahomes with Isaiah Pacheco. So both of these we, we've got the uh, quarterback with a running back in the stack. We've got Mahomes with Pacheco. We got Travis Kelsey in there as well. And then we got the Cowboys stack again, Dak with Michael Gallup. Uh, we've also got the Rondo Moore run back. Oh, we got uh, CD Lamb in there as well for the Cowboys. So majorly stacking is what we're seeing in our highest ROI lineups so far. Now, if we take a look at player ROIs, who has the highest simulated ROI, that is Durham Smythe, Miles Sanders, KJ Osborne at the top here have the highest simulated ROIs. So your highest stacks. Yeah, Zach Wilson not looking the best there. A lot of uh, negatively, negative ROI stacks for Zach Wilson. Dak Prescott, it, not a surprise. The, the players that were in our highest ROI lineup showing up here. Dak Prescott uh, with the single stack looking really good. Not as good with the double stack or the triple stack overall. Of course, it's all lineup dependent. Some lineups are going to have ROIs, uh, positive ROIs with the same stack that other lineups will have negative ROI. Patrick Mahomes looking good as well. With single and double stacks, not as good with triple stacks. In general, the, the quarterback plus three, not looking as good as the quarterback plus one, quarterback plus two. I guess if we sort by quarterback plus three, maybe that'll change for Kirk Cousins looks great if you triple stack him 
Anthony Richardson, that's interesting. That surprises me a little bit having Anthony Richardson in there with the triple stack, two a triple stack, Mac Jones triple stack. Those are our three, four lineups that we have positive simulated ROIs with triple stack. Cousins, Richardson, Tua, and then Mac Jones as well. Now, if we go to our lineups, and I'm just going to favorite the top 150. So if we just look at the top 150, here's our highest exposures. We have 81% Miles Sanders in this in this run, 46% Durham Smythe, 37% KJ Osborne, 36% Patrick Mahomes. He's looking like some of our top players on the slate for owner's box. So we're heavily stacking. These are the players that we're using. Interesting to see. We're not getting to a ton of Justin Herbert. It's kind of interesting. So not a lot of Chargers stack. We are getting to a ton of Minnesota in that game, but not nearly as much of the Chargers see if i can sort by team let's see filter for team kind of want to see how much we have of the charters here i'll just sort by team and scroll so in the top 150 we do have we've just got three percent keenan allen two percent mike williams one percent josh palmer one percent justin herbert one percent austin eckler i'm thinking that austin eckler probably going to be ultimately ruled out for a Sunday and we're going to get Josh Kelly and he would probably make it into some lineups once we make that switch. Uh, but that's going to change by the way. And currently we still don't know if Austin Eckler is going to play. Obviously it's going to change a lot. If, if Austin Eckler is out this weekend, we're going to have some interest in uh, some, some Josh Kelly, who's going to be cheaper in a nice matchup with the Vikings. But for now we're getting just to a ton of the Vikings in that matchup. We're getting to, 37% KJ Osborne, 31% Kirk Cousins, 31% Justin Jefferson, 25% Alexander Madison, 21% TJ Hawkinson. So getting to a good amount of the Vikings. Interestingly, we're not getting to any Jordan Addison. We're getting to a good amount of all the other pass catchers, but no Jordan Addison, the one main component of the Vikings that we're really not getting to here. Uh, but a lot of a lot of Kansas City in these lineups. 16% Pacheco, I guess just six percent Mahomes. So he was in some of the highest ROI lineups, but uh Sorry, 35% Pacheco, 36% Mahomes. I was reading the wrong the wrong column there. 12% Sky Moore, 8% MVS. But again, our highest exposed player, Miles Sanders, by far 81%. I would probably cut back a little bit on the Miles Sanders. I don't think I want 81%, which you can go, you can do go into your ROI boost. And you can, if you're getting too much of a certain player and you don't really want that much in your lineups, you can go give them a little bit of a negative ROI boost to get a little bit less of them. It'll push up some other lineups, change your uh, your composition of your exposures there. So I'd recommend doing that if you're getting to 81% of a player like Miles Sanders and you're maybe not confident that you want that much, I would probably cut back a little bit there. But that's the, the first look. It is Wednesday as I'm recording this. Obviously, a lot is going to change between now and Sunday. So I would recommend signing up now i would sign up as early as you can to make sure that you have access to the sims tool by the weekend so that you can actually run your own sims on sunday play the best lineups as they look on sunday when we have the most updated information so i'd recommend signing up now if you haven't already done so either way check out the sims tool very valuable tool make sure you sign up at owner's box and use our link when you do so to get all of the great deals that i told you about at the beginning of this video thanks for watching guys good luck this week